What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're a Fioni Evolution Team. Joker King, this one is for you, man. Now, Fioni and Manaphy, a pretty cool Pokemon. Now, Manaphy can actually be shiny through Pokemon Ranger, which is a really unique way of actually getting it. I'll probably be covering a video on my channel in the future. So, these Pokemon only get a one ability. It's Hydration, and that's going to be using Rain. So, I've got some Rain strategies with this team. I've got two Fioni and two Manaphy, so it's a difficult team, but I've got some fire battles today, and I hope you enjoy. So, first battle here, this one is a random battle on the Poker Portal. I have no idea what my opponent's name is. It's like a mix of uh, Japan and English to go. So, anyone can translate or make heads or tail of that, let me know. So we got a Fioni lead here. I'm going to be actually going for a Liquidation. It's a Choice Scarf set. So I've got Flip Turn, Liquidation, Knock Off, and Terror Blast Ground. And I've got the EVs, Max Attack, and Max Speed. Now, I thought that Cacton would be Water Absorb, and that's quite a good play, but it turns out it's not. So this team definitely is a Sand team. I'd say this has, well, has Sand Veil, right? So they're going to be trying to dodge a couple of attacks. Now, Cacton is going to be going for a spiky shield here, trying to do some extra damage here. Does anyone, is anyone out there, or your favorite Pokemon, is it Manaphy or Fiona? Does anyone out there exist? Let me know in the comment section of the video, people. If you're Enjoy the theme teams, people. Want to support the channel? Hit that like button right now. So we're going to be going for liquidation again. I'm just going to keep hammering away at this cactus, and it's going to go for Leech Seed. So it's got Spiky Shield and Leech Seed. So definitely a stalling set for sure. I would have been in a bit of trouble if this had Water Absorb too. It would have been very difficult to get around. I would have had to swap for any. So I guess it's probably better that it does have Sand Veil. Now, I've got to swap this out because I know they're going to go for Spiky Shield again to get some more damage with Leech Seed. So I'm going to go into my Manaphy. Now, this Manaphy was a Tail Glow set. I didn't want to run like a super broken one, so I wanted one run actually that was with the Rain. So I've got Weather Ball and Rain Dance. So my moves here are Tail Glow, which drastically boosts your special attack. So that's three stages. Uh, we got Weather Ball, so with Rain Dance as a water combination, and Stored Power uh, too. Now, I've got Damp Rock as my item and Terra Water. So, this uh, th this thing had Sand Attack, so it's got Sand Veil and Sand Attack. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to be landing an attack on this thing, so I had to change the weather to the rain. Then they swapped their Cacturn out, and they're going to be swapping back in the Tyranitar. So we had sort of this little uh, weather wars going on at the moment. So I was setting the rain up. They'd swap Tyranitar and set the sand, but I really needed the rain to be uh, flowing uh, very nicely to get this thing working. So I've got that toggle up. Uh, Tyranitar, I can't really do a lot to. I need the rain to be pouring, and hopefully uh, Tyranitar will be uh, snoring real quick. So I'm going to be going for the Rain Dance here. They're going to withdraw the Tyranitar again. If I can get rid of the Tyranitar, putting that sand up on the field, I have somewhat of a chance here. So in comes the uh, Cacturn again. I've got the rain going. Um, I know that I can take this Cacturn out. It's probably going to take, like, just one powerful Weather Ball. So I'm pretty sure they're going to go for either Spiky Shield or go for uh, Leech Seed. So they're going to go for Spiky Shield. I'm like, that's fine. They're stalling out my rain. That's cool. With Damp Rock, I've got eight turns. I've, I've got a lot of turns still, which is cool. Uh, this Cacturn is bulky, but I should be able to, you know, take it out soon. So I'm going to go for that Tail Glow, give myself a plus three in Special Attack. We're good to go now. I can go for a Weather Ball. So it's going to go for Sand Attack, which is really, really annoying. I was sort of hoping they'd go for Leech Seed. At least then I knew what they were going to do. There was no, like, Luck involved. So... Spiky Shield obviously is going to be Cacturn's next turn there, stalling out my Weather one turn, and I went for Weather Ball. Now, next turn, I can actually be able to hit Cacturn here. I went for Weather Ball, and it missed. I was like, come on. That's <laughs> one sand attack. So now the Cacturn's going to go for Leech Seed, and we're going to go through all this song and dance again. All they had to do, though, is get one Weather Ball on this Cacturn, because if you remember, I had the rain up, I've got a tail glow up, and, you know, it's going to be Terra Water. So I'm thinking to myself, I have to get rid of this Cacturn now because it's too much of a pain in the rain. So I'm going to go for Weather Ball again. Of course, the Spiky shield it up. So this is the turn. I have to do something. Like, are they going to go back into Tyrant here? Should I risk going for a Terra Water Weather Ball? I was like, you know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's do it right here and get rid of this Cacturn. So I'm going to go for Weather Ball here, Terra Water Weather Ball, and that is going to do a lot of damage. Even though Cacturn resists it, it's not exactly what... 
you call the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. Plus, I couldn't go for Stored Power due to Cacton's uh, Dark type as well. So going for that Terra Water, I'm hoping this is going to land, and thank goodness it does. So uh, Cacton's got to get hit by the full load there right in the face. Look at this. Oh, and that is the end of Cacton. So finally, I got rid of that stupid thing. Like, it took ages to faint. Nearly five minutes is insane. So next Pokemon to come up is probably going to be Tyrantra again, and it was. So they're going to reset my reign. I had a little bit of a plan here. I'm thinking if I can get, I'm, I already know, I knew what their entire team was already at the moment due to the team preview. So I'm thinking if I can get rid of this Tyranta, they can stop resetting my uh, reign. So Tyranta's actually going to attack me this turn and go for knockoff. That didn't do that much damage. So I'm assuming this is more of a bulky Tyranta. Um, I'm going to fake this turn though. So I know I've got to do something here. I have to go for some sort of powerful move. So they swapped Tyranta out and went into Vicar Vault. This is actually very, very good because Vicavolt would have been a very, very powerful Pokemon. Like, way too powerful for my team, right? So, go for the Weather Ball in the rain, and uh, Vicavolt is going to be in pain. So, that's two Pokemon down. That's very, very good. So, Manaphy can now keep going for Weather Ball, and we've got Scissor coming in. So, it's like, well, Scissor's obviously either going to go for Bullet Punch here, or they're going to go for Sword Dance on my swap. I risked the swap here. I thought, I, no, I need to keep that back. I've, I've got a plan. So I'm going to go into Fioni here. And Fioni, this is actually like a real bulky defensive set. Now, it's pretty funny, right? I couldn't think of an item to put on Fioni. I was like, should I just put like something random or a troll item? I put Everlight on it, even though it doesn't work. But I wanted to see if I could cause some mind games. And people were like, huh? Does this Everlight work on Fioni? Anyway, so this is a bulky defensive set. Now, it's got a really, really cool move here. It's called Take Heart. So uh, this move... Uh, what it does is uh, cures status, which is really cool, raises special attack and special defense by one stage, which is a really nifty little move. So I'm going for a couple of skulls there. I dealt with that scissor easy peasy, which was great. It, uh, it did get rid of my Everlight, my heart bleeds, you know. It was, such a, it was such a shocking loss there. Maybe I should have given it a better item than the troll item. Anyway, next Pokemon, of course, is Taranta. This is beginning to be a bit of a problem. It keeps resetting my range, so I'm like... Do I go for Rain Dance here? Nah, they're just going to swap it out and send it back in. So what I'm going to do is go for Scald and try and... i, I got to fight this Pokemon or try and get it burned. So I'm going to go for Scald here on the Taranta, and it's got Weakness Palsy. I had a little bit of a feeling it might have had that because it, it seemed to be fairly like built for, like built pretty bulky. And uh, now Taranta is going to go for a Taunt here. So that wasn't a bad play because obviously they know I've got some sort of support for Yoni happening. So... I can go for Scold again and get a bit of damage, and that's probably going to be the end of Fiona here. So I'm going to go for that Scold. It's pretty good damage there, and I actually got a burn, which is very, very good. I mean, I fired off, what, three uh, three Scolds, so, you know, it's got a pretty good chance of getting one. So Stone Miss is going to not miss, and it's going to land, and it's not going to faint my Fiona, which is very, very good. So in this turn, I could go for Rain Dance here. I was a little bit scared. I was like, if they swap it out... Or something like that. Let's just go for Skull. I want to fake this Pokemon. I really, really do need the rain. And if I can set it up with my other Manaphy, with, uh, I can get like a full uh, amount of turns there with it. So that's the end of Taranta. Like one more hit will take it out. That Fioni was max health, max defense, by the way, if you are curious. And that had bold nature. So very, very tanky set. So I'm going to go for flip turn here on my Fioni. I mean, what are they really going to do here? Go into another Pokemon. So Taranta is going to faint. So I'm starting to get rid of their Pokemon now. Like things are looking very, very good. But there still is one Pokemon on their team that worries me a lot. Like really, really does worry me. So I'm going to go back into Manaphy. I've calculated this perfectly. I'm going to get spanked by the Sandstorm. I lived on one health. He wouldn't read about it. And the merch is available. Now the next Pokemon here is going to be Corby Knight. So I'm like... I have to get rid of this sand now. So what I'm going to do, I could go for a weak weather ball. It's going to do donkeys. Let's go for the rain. Let's get that rain set up. And that's going to give my last two Pokemon a fighting chance here. Uh, so I've got that rain going, which is excellent. Now, Corviknight's going to go for a body press. Now, I'm thinking how I'm going to get around this. Like, this is definitely going to be like a bulky. You'd have to assume it's got Roost body press. Possibly Iron Defense and, you know, and something like that. Or Iron Head or so, something along those lines, right? So I'm going to test it out here. Fioni is pretty much worthless now. I know that I won't break through with this Pokemon and fight it. So I went for the knockoff. So I got rid of it, Shell Lord. That's pretty good. Um, it's going to go for Roost. I guess they just did that to see what move I was going to use. 
Um, I thought it'd be better to go for that instead of waterfall. So instead of swapping out here, I stayed in for the knockoff. I wanted to know what other moves they had here. I want to know like what other moves they have. So I'm going for knockoff. I know it's going to do donkeys. Now the Corviknight uses the Iron Defense. And my, uh, my plan here started formulating inside my head. Like, this is good, right? This is very, very good. So I'm going to go for knockoff again continually. I want this Corviknight to set up every single Iron Defense and boost it at once, right? Because I've got a plan. I've got a plan to see if I can win this battle. So the rain has stopped here. I'm just going to keep going for knockoff. It doesn't matter if it sets up on me. I'm going to go for another one. On um, that one, I actually got a critical. It's pretty good. So I expected Corviknight after this to go for a roost because it has sustained a, uh, a little bit of damage setting all those up. So I'm going for knockoff again there. It's doing like one damage now. Corviknight's got plus six. And my last Pokemon is a physical Pokemon, by the way. So you're probably wondering how I'm going to get around this. So now the opponent's going to go for a Terra. Uh, they're coming in here for their clutch play to try and, you know, uh, finish this battle, right? They're in a very, very powerful position. So this Corviknight is going to be Terra fighting, so they're going to be going off Body Press. So Body Press is going to be doing astronomical amounts of damage here. I went for my final knockoff, and Fioni uh, played its part perfectly there. It just, it just set the bait beautifully. So that's the end of Fioni. Now, we've got one more Pokemon left, and that Pokemon is going to be Manaphy, which is a physical attacker. So, the move I've got here to use that I wanted to bait out on the opponent was that Iron Defense. Because what I'm going to do is go Heart Swap. And I'm going to swap those stats around. So now my Manaphy's got plus six, which is awesome. And they're going to go for a Terra Body Press. And I can tell you what, it's going to do nothing. So this is very, very good now. I've turned the tables again. So what I can do is I can go for the Zen Headbutt. Super effective. Without all those boosts, Corviknight is actually very, very uh, frail there. So I'm doing a lot of damage. I got a very, very good flinch there on Corviknight. Now, the last Pokemon is actually weak to Water Pokemon, which is why they didn't send it in like, earlier. And that is going to be Ursaluna. So I'm like, all right, well, that, that's fine. I've got plus six in defense. That's very, very good. Uh, my EVs were max attack and max speed. Jolly nature. Heart Swap, Waterfall, Zen Hit, but Terror Blast, Fire, holding a charcoal. So I'm going to go for Waterfall here on the Ursa Luna. Uh, they took a fairly long while to make the moves here. I'm starting to go for Waterfall. Doesn't take it out. Excellent damage. Ursa Luna is going to need to actually hit me with a crit here. And you can see how little that did. So Ursa Luna is done. I've got that one. And all that's left now is Corviknight, which really, what is it going to be able to do to me? It's going to have to set up like... You know, Iron Defense and stuff like that, which is going to be very, very difficult, uh, you know, considering I outspeed it, I'm doing very, very good damage. So, they swapped in their Corviknight again there. I went for Waterfall. It still did an alright amount of damage, and I'm going to go for another Waterfall there. Pretty much, that is game, people. I made a very, very clutch play there at the end with the Heart Swap. I just knew when they sent out their Corviknight and was using Body Press, there was a chance that they'd try and set up on me. And they, obviously, they'll think, oh, this is great. I've won the battle and I've set up. I can't possibly lose here. And, you know, the Manaphy turned it around with Heart Swap, which is really cool, which swaps the stats. So I went for a Disrespect Terror Blast there. And that is the end of the battle. That was a long battle. Thank you to my opponent there. I hope you enjoyed the Fioni Manaphy team. That was a fire battle. Like, you got to admit, that was a really good one. If you enjoyed that one, people, make sure you do hit a like there. Let me know what you thought about that battle in the comment section. i really like to know. I feel like I played nearly... Almost, like, I, I feel like, like, looking back on the battle, I played pretty much perfect, especially towards the end there. I made some really good, like, uh, plays and predictions. So, next battle here. This one is uh, another random battle. We've got a Dragonite lead, and it's going to go for extreme speed. Now, this Fioni, as you know, it's a Choice Scarf one. I'm going to be going for knockoff. And, uh, yeah, I, I really can't do a lot of damage here. So, this Dragonite is uh, going to be going for multiple... Uh, moves here, which is interesting. You'll get to see, like, multiple of the same type moves. So I went for our extreme speed. Now it's gone for Dragon End. So it's got a boosted attack and speed. I've got Take Out and I've got Scold. I really need to burn this Pokemon because if Dragonite gets set up here, it's uh, it's all over. So here comes the extreme speed. Remember now, this is the bulky Fioni, so I'm taking it really... Uh, I'm taking it pretty well. I went for the Scold, no burns. Like, okay, that's fine. You know, I'll go for a Scold again. Now it's got Body Slam. I'm like, what? Extreme speed and Body Slam? And they got a Paralyze. I'm like, oh, <laughs> damn it. So Dragonite has paralyzed me. I'm desperately trying to get a burn here. And uh, I'm trying to get this rain up. I could actually heal my status there, but I was like, I want to get the rain up here. I, I need to, right? Because I'm going to try and, and get some things happening. So Dragonite's gone for another Dragon Dance, and it's boosting his attack and speed. So I'm going to set that rain dance up. I'm starting to get another little plan inside of my head. 
So I've got that. Uh, the rain's going to cure my uh, status there due to hydration. And I can go for Scald this end. I know this Fiona is going to faint, but I do have a pretty good plan here. If That's if I can live. So we've got a Terra Dragon right now. Now, after seeing Extreme Speed Dragon Heads and Body Slam, I knew they were going to be Terra Normal. Because, you know, Terra Normal Dragon is very, very powerful, right? Um, so it's only got one weakness. And with Moldy's Guard, it's, it's very good too. So it's going to go for Terra. Wait, hang on. Wait. Wait a second, Terra Blast, Extreme Speed, and Body Slam. They had three normal moves. You wouldn't read about it. That's it. That's crazy. So that is the end of my Fiona. So we're going to go into Manaphy now. You know what's going to happen here, people. I'm going to try and go for the old Heart Swap. Now, there's no point going for Terra Fire. Here comes the Body Slam. I, I don't know whether I'll live a plus two. We'll see. So here it comes, the Body Slam. I lived it pretty well, too. Um, even if I got paralyzed there, the uh, rain actually would have healed that. And I swapped the stats around, which is beautiful. So this Dragonite is definitely a bulky set, uh, for sure. And it's like a bulky boosting set with Dragonite. So I can go for Waterfall here in the rain. I've now got, remember, I've done the stat swap here. So my Manaphy now has equivalent to two Dragon Dancers up in attack. So plus two in speed and plus two in attack. So that is going to be the end of the Dragonite there. Uh, now, the next Pokemon is going to be Glade. I knew that I'd... I, I thought I, they may try and go for extreme speed there, but I felt like I would have lived that due to the damage they did to me earlier on. It, it virtually had no attack EVs, like everything in Pulp. So when it comes to Glade there, that's the end of that. Easy, and the rain is going to stop. Now, the next Pokemon here is going to be Jam Pal. So I have to go for... I'm thinking they've either got Sucker Punch or they've got Ice Shard. Or they don't have either. So I'm thinking, if they've got Ice Shard, the best thing I can do here, I, I might go for Terra Fire. It's also a super effective move too. I don't think they'll predict that. So I'm going to be going for a Terra Fire. And it, it may even have a Choice Scarf on it as well. You never know. So I'm going to be going for Terra Fire Manaphy. And we're going to go for Terra Blast. So I've got Terra Blast Fire Manaphy, plus two an attack with the Charcoal. And that is going to be hitting super hard, taking out Champ So That's three Pokemon down, which is very, very good. Uh, the next Pokemon to come out here is going to be Fluttermane. Now, I'm pretty sure here, I was like, I should be able to outspeed this thing and one shot. So I went for Waterfall. It got laid out like a lounge room rug. It was a crit, which didn't matter. So that's four Pokemon down, two to go. Next Pokemon is going to be Vaxcalibur. I've got this one. And there's the Rage Quit there, people. So... Physical Manaphy sweep again with a heart swap. I hope you enjoyed a salty baby bottle. Let's get on to the third and final battle here. Another random battle. This one is on the Poker Portal. And we have a Mamoswine lead here. So I've got my Fioni lead, which has got Liquidation and uh, Flip Turn. I thought, well, I'll, I'll go for Liquidation. I doubt they'll expect me to outspeed. So I outsped the Mamoswine. I did some very, very good damage there. That Almost. It was very close to taking it out. Now, it's going to be setting up the Stealth Rock. So... Mamoswine is going to get a little bit of extra damage here on me with the Ice Shard. I, you know, I knew they'd probably do that to get like a bit before it faded. And I just went for Liquidation again. So that's the end of Mamoswine. That really wasn't such a threatening Pokemon to my team. You know, every, nearly every single one of my Pokemon could have fainted that. Next Pokemon here is going to be Iron Valiant. Uh, this is going to get a boost of energy, boosting it up in uh, in its speed. So like, yeah, that that that's that. I'm not going to be able to speed that right. So it's got close combat. Doesn't faint me, which is actually pretty cool. I actually went for liquidation here. That, that was still locked into that, right? So it had a defensive drop there. I went for that, and I got a massive critical hit taking it out. Uh, that really, really mattered, especially, and I also had that negative one of defense from the, uh, the uh, well, that was the uh, close combat drop too. So their third Pokemon is going to be Apom. It's going to actually take me out there with a fake out, and that's down. So I was like, okay, Technician or something like that. So bring in Fiona here. It's, it's all good. I can go for a, a Skull. That'll be quite good. Um, also, I've got, I've got Take Heart as well if I want to go for that, but like, let's go for Skull. Now, it's going to go for a Fury Swipes here. Now, Fury Swipes, as you can see, it's not really doing a lot of damage. So, I, I wonder if this is going to be... Now, it could be a couple of things. It's either Loaded Dice or it's going to be Skill Link. I don't really know at the point because it could be either one of them. So, I'm going to go for Skull trying to get the burn. I didn't get it that turn, which sucks. So, I guess my best play is to keep going for Skull over and over again. Now, what they're going to do is go for a Terra. So, as soon as I seen the Terra coming, I'm thinking, well... I'd say they're going to go for Terra Normal, unless they've got some other weird type on them, and it's going to be Terra Normal. So Terra Normal Fury Swipes. And I was interested to see how many hits they would actually do to me here. 
Um, yeah, that might tell me what item or ability it does have. So here comes another Furious Wives, and I'm take I'm able to take like what ten of these easy. So that's what three. That's the third one. Uh, this is the fourth one, and then one more. So it's still hitting me five times. So I, I can't figure out whether it's loaded dice or skill link lab, right? So I'm gonna go for Skull, and unfortunately no burn again. They're gonna go for the final Fury swipes here on my Fioni. Unfortunately, um, I'm not gonna be able to live that, but it's pretty impressive. Like I think Fioni's like low, a, a low key pretty uh, interesting Pokemon for sure. So two down. Uh, I, I've got to make something happen here. I've got to get rid of this Ambipom. It's too much of a uh, it's too much of a counter to my team, right? It's very very fast and it's hitting a lot of times. So I've got Tail Glow. I've got Weather Ball. At this stage, I can't take it out. I, I might try and. Paint it with a weather bulb. That's going to be about it. It should just be enough. So here comes another Furious Wipes on the Ambibomb. So I'm taking this about as well as a Fioni did before. Actually, matter of fact, I'm probably taking a little bit more damage there because it's not quite as bulky. So the Ambibomb is going to hit me. What is that? For another five times. I'm like, surely. And then I got Flinch. So that straight away told me what I had. So it's got a King Rock as the item. And it's got Skill Link as the ability. So I only just found that out then because I, I really wouldn't have known. There's no way of 100% knowing that. It still could have been either one of the things. So all I've got left is one Pokemon. Things are we're basically dire straits here, people. I've got my Manaphy left. I'm thinking, man, I, I I could go for heart swap, but there's no there, there's no stats to like you know swap around. I've got waterfall. I may as well just go for that right. I'm gonna need to not get flinched here though, or I need fury swipes to miss. They were actually pretty lucky they landed fury swipes because fury swipes, it doesn't really have the greatest. What is it like 85 accuracy? So it's, it's not that good. So it's hit me pretty hard here, and even if I do leave, I'm probably not going to have a lot of health left, you know? So that's five hits there on my Manaphy. No flinch, thank goodness. And the Waterfall is going to finish off the Ambipom. Now, I'm not sure what other Pokemon they brought, because they only brought four Pokemon, but they had six in the preview. So I had no idea what they were going to bring. And the last Pokemon to get swapped into my Fioni Manaphy team was Skeledurge. I'm like, ooh, this is good. I can go for the Waterfall. This should do like a lot of damage, right? And Skeledurge is going to get wrecked. And that is the end of the battle. Hope you enjoyed all the battles. Some great battles today, people. Drop a like on the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.